and welcome to day 94 of the income stream and it happens to be sunday father's day 2020 big shout out and happy father's day to all the dads out there happy father's day to my father uh one of the best most supportive people in the world and i'm um, just so thankful to be a father myself so we're gonna have a casual day today we're still gonna do website reviews but we're just gonna chat we're gonna take it chill i think we have, we're gonna have a smaller group today which is okay but Super thankful that you're here. I appreciate you so much. Already have a few websites and YouTube channels aligned and ready to go. So let's stick around and let's have some fun. Thank you for joining me today again on the Income Stream. Hey, quarantine. This is the Income Stream to help you achieve your dream. Oh, while we keep it clean, this is the Income Stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave. With no fee required, the income stream with Love it, love it, love it. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. We got, let's see, Magical Paws in the house, Peasant Uprising, Cheryl in the house, Peasant saying, hey, just want to pop in with all the other fathers. Happy Father's Day. Hope everyone is well. Uh, Samson's in the house. We got uh, Karma Cash Flow. We got Martin, Fly Ride, Louis B, Jammin, Bernard. Uh, Elton and Tondalea and uh, Barry. What's up, Barry? Good to see you. Scully's in the house as well. Keisha, uh, Chris, Dr. Joella. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks again so much for being here today. We're going to have a great day. I'm so excited because we're going to be doing some more website and YouTube channel reviews. If you've been in here before, you know this hour goes by so fast. So fast. <laughs> uh, so let's get right into it. I have my coffee today. Got the Tesla mug hanging out. Love it. And uh, let's get right into it. So here's what we're looking for today. If you've never been in these website reviews or YouTube channel sales page review days before, this happens on the weekends. And I look for specific things that I point out almost like an audit, right? And if you want to get your stuff submitted, all you have to do is put in your website there, patflynn.com slash review. And I'd be more than happy to take a look at your stuff. Um, and even if your website's been on here before, let me know because we can also review your updates as well, which we've started to do a little bit more as well. But here is essentially what we are looking for. Number one, does the website, sales page, or YouTube channel tell me who this is for and what's in it for me, me as the viewer? Now, if I know it's not for me, that's good because it is clear that it's nailing the messaging. If it's something where I have to kind of figure it out, and I'm not quite sure, and it's not very clear to me, then it's not doing its job. The content that you have come to come out with is really important. But more important than the content is that first moment when people find you. How are you going to help people understand that this is something for them or something not for them so they'll know to leave? It has to be that clear. Next, are you helping me know what to do first? Oftentimes, a blog, a website, a YouTube channel with an archive of videos is just a big mash of all this kind of stuff that may not necessarily be best to consume in the order that it was created or in reverse chronological order, which is often the way that it's displayed. So it's really important that we help people understand what do we do first? What do we watch first? What do we listen to first? What do we read first? What are the most important components of this? Maybe it's to uh, subscribe to an email list. Maybe it's eventually something you want me to do is to uh, you know fill out a form or something like that to call you or wh whatever. How easy are you making that for me to do? How am I connecting to you versus others? What's unique about you? Are you telling your story? Are you offering some way to stand out from the crowd that you are in? Number four, non-essentials and distractions, things that don't necessarily need to be there, right? Like if you took out that image, does it actually hurt you? Or was that just wasted space? Number five, branding and design. Just looking for themes, branding, just overall design, impressions, and things like that. Uh, nope, Elton, no boba tea today. I just got a coffee this morning. Still too early for boba, especially with the sugar that's usually in there. Martin, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate you. Massive. Thank you for what you've started today. After eight months, my podcast show, Calming Anxiety, passed a half a million downloads. Bruh. That is ridiculous. And that's awesome and absolutely well-deserved. So congratulations to you, Martin. One more wow for you. That is incredible. That is incredible. Half a million, my friend. Keep up the great work. Okay, so we're going to go to a couple places here. And again, if you want to have your stuff submitted for review, all you have to do is go here, patflin.com slash review, insert your stuff there, and we'll be good to go. So first, I want to 
review Marla's YouTube channel, which is Javi's Rockin' Kitchen, which we can find right here. So, immediately, first thing that stands out, great job updating the artwork. I think this is the first and most important thing is when we visit a new YouTube channel, oftentimes there's no artwork at all, or it's just very generic looking. I like this, there's some personality. I think the images could be a little bit more clear, but it has like a more homely feel to it. Like these are almost photos from, you know, somebody's album or something. It's just like moments in time. I think it's pretty cool. I like that the faces are pointing toward those icons, but I think that those images could be perhaps a little bit more quality. And also I say that there's a white border on the outside, meaning that they're just not long enough, right? So let's keep that in mind because this is almost there. And this, this little gray box doesn't go all the way to the top, but I like the icons here. Tacos, guitar, Javi's Rockin' Kitchen, you know, barbecue utensils. Live every Friday, 6 p.m., videos uploaded weekly. Boom, super clear. I love that. I think that's absolutely great. So the one thing I will say is thumbnails. We need to work a little bit on thumbnails. And even though you've streamed these things every Friday, thumbnails will do you justice. Thumbnails will help people understand why they need to click through. I mean, look at the one image here with the thumbnail. 86 views compared to, you know, 25 or less than 50 on the others, right? Hey, Archer, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate you. And so, yes, I know that this one is likely different. It's an uploaded video versus these live streams. But still, these live streams, I've noticed a very, very big difference when I started adding thumbnails into my live streams versus just having like a component or an image or a still image from within that live stream just be the thumbnail, right? So that's one thing. Number two, I'm wondering if these are all the videos you have because if not, no, definitely not. So check it out. On the homepage, you have the ability to add different playlists. And essentially, all you have here are your latest five uploads and then all this wasted space underneath. You should have multiple playlists, uh, a list of your maybe recipes, a list of the live streams, a list of all these other uh, different components, right? So if I go to your videos here, now I see all these other things. And look, a lot of times you do have some beautiful thumbnails. And look, every single one of them has higher view counts normally. Uh, but recipes have them in a playlist. The live streams have them in a playlist. Maybe the specific recipes have different themes, if you will. Um, this looks amazing. Wow. Aqua chile. Mmm. People need to see and find this stuff. And they're not on the homepage. You can't expect them to go to the video page to do that. And lastly, I'll say that you can, on your homepage, also have a video that's more like a preview or a trailer or some sort of welcome message, right? In fact, you can have a welcome message specifically for people who have come here for the first time and a welcome message for those who have come back for the first time. That's something that YouTube allows you to do and you're not taking advantage of that. So definitely, I would I definitely, 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 I would take advantage of that. Paul says, hey, Pat, not self-hosting with WordPress, Wix or Squarespace. Um, I'd probably recommend Squarespace over Wix just because I've had more experience talking to people who have had success on that platform if you aren't going to be self-hosting on WordPress. I would still encourage you to consider self-hosting on WordPress, but if, if in fact you're not going to do that, Wix or Squarespace would be okay. Grand Sing Music says, if you want to get your channel reviewed, how do you do that? Just go here, uh, and that would be here. Smart Pat, uh, so, excuse me, patflynn.com slash review and then we'll put, we'll put it up there. So, good stuff. Hopefully that makes sense, Javis. Wonderful job getting 400 subscribers. You're only 600 away from being able to monetize your stuff. So keep up the good work. I think you're gonna be uh, very, very happy with the results after you implement that sort of stuff. So let's go to another website. I'm gonna pop this in here and see who's in the house and what's up. Let's go to Let's see. By the way, any plans, any of you for Father's Day? Let me know. Today we're just chilling. Unfortunately, we can't go anywhere, obviously, but really excited for the day for sure. All right. Hello, uh, welcome to Bulls Canal Fit Fit. Whoa, a little bit of a preview there. Next, we're gonna be reviewing this channel here, Fit FAQs, Fitness Jason Hyde. Active Leven Sildo. This is probably not in my language, but that's okay. We can still review it anyway, just for first impressions. So, Sue, thank you so much. This is totally making me rethink YouTube. Thanks, Pat. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so, first of all, scrolling down, see, this is what I mean by playlists. A plethora of videos that I can choose from. 
scroll down, scrolling down. This looks like a welcome message, like I was saying earlier. So welcome to the channel. Fit FAQs, pretty cool. Um, I cannot, hey look, there's some stuff in English as well, which is really interesting. Let me click on one of those, by the way. In deze video geven we een volledige beginner workout mee voor je armen. Ben je dus al wel wat gewoon qua armoefeningen, dan is deze video misschien niet iets voor jou. Ben je totaal... By the way, that hair, bro, that hair is sick. I love it. ...al niets gewoon, of ben je nog maar pas begonnen met je armen te trainen, wel dan kan deze video wel iets voor jou zijn en kijk hem dus volledig uit tot op het einde voor alle oefeningen. Cool, so about a 15 second intro and then you get into a really nice hook, or excuse me, a really nice splash intro or bumper video as you like to call it um i don't know exactly what you said but i like that you had it there i would recommend trying to upgrade that a little bit more by having some sort of movement in the camera instead of just the face on camera not that your face is bad again i like the hair you were a little off center which is okay but if you had some text that popped up on the screen as you were talking or maybe it zoomed in slowly right before the cut to the screen or perhaps some sort of b-roll or preview images of some of the exercise that you're going to do that would help a person at the very beginning of these videos uh, just be more likely to stick around, right? So uh, hopefully that helps. I think it's interesting that you have the English. Hello, welcome to this channel, Fitfix. My name is. I think it's interesting that you have the English titles here. Um, by the way, sorry for that, if you heard that. That was a cha ching sound. SwitchPod just got another sale. I'm going to keep this on, by the way, just for fun. But uh, I have that on when SwitchPod makes a sale because I want to make sure. I know who purchases and we can hook, we can help them out. Um, but it looks like you have some stuff in English and in uh, what might that language be? I'm not quite sure, but definitely play to your audience. Now, it sounds like that your audience could potentially benefit from having both English and your language in there, which is totally fine. Again, I, 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 I don't want to go much uh, too much into it because I cannot understand what you're saying, but that's okay. I like these thumbnails really good. I think the text could be a little bit bigger. It also looks like that the text does not match the copy of the title, which is 100% exactly the thing that you're supposed to do. The text should not match, right? Because these are two different places where you can capture people's attention. If it's the same text on both the thumbnail and the image uh, or in the title, and it's not gonna do you any service. It's not helping, it's just wasted space. So let's say for example, this thumbnail here, these words can be bigger. You space here um these words could be bigger these words could be a little bit bigger i like these little over exaggerated hey ching did y'all hear that that was pretty cool switch pod just made a sale we're gonna keep that up uh let's see see this one is pretty cool i again i like the exaggerated faces people connect with the faces on these thumbnails even though it might look silly i mean if, you, if any of you've seen graham stefan like just this guy's the king graham stefan I mean, look at his thumbnails. They're absolutely ridiculous. What's up, you guys? It's Graham. Right, so much bigger words when there are words, but absolutely ridiculous thumbnails. But he knows that he's supposed to do that. See, much bigger faces. People connect with the faces. Much bigger text. Not as much text either. And you could do something like that too. So... There's a video in here that's really interesting that I want to share with you, uh, which relates to all this. Let me see if I can find it. So this is Graham Stephan re responding to Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary is one of those guys from the Shark Tank, right? Like the meanest one, Mr. Wonderful. He like sits in the middle like this and is always super angry, always asks honestly the best questions to the people who are presenting. But he reviewed Graham Stephan's channel and initially thought this guy was a not so great person because of just his thumbnails and stuff. Um, and just the thought he, the, like what he thought about these videos. Anyway, let me see if I can find the moment. In between the equity I get and the tax. So let's see. Uh, just looking for his response. Here, I think it's right here. This guy's going to be a dick. 
But now as I'm just seeing the first few frames, it sounds like he's for real. You know what, to be honest, I totally understand that. I think it's very easy for people to see a few of my absolutely ridiculous thumbnail pictures that look as though I've experienced a root canal or in the middle of suffering from a migraine, combined with over-the-top titles with the word millionaire written in them with my monthly income plastered in big, bold font. And it's really easy for people to miscategorize me, rightfully so. However, in my defense, I really try to back up the type of content that I make in such a way that's educational, informational, and helpful. And the reality is that many times in order to stand out or incentivize people to click on the video to begin with, you need to go to such extremes and I try to cater my content around what people want to see more of. So I'm totally okay being a little bit shocking for people who only see a title and a thumbnail as long as that means they actually click on the video, enjoy it, and then stick around for the long run. My mortgage. So big lesson there from Graham Stephan. He knows that in order to capture people's attention, he needs a really compelling thumbnail and a really compelling title. And he's okay going a little bit exaggerated to capture people in. And I think more of us need to play in that realm. We don't need to get necessarily as exaggerated. We don't have to look like we're having a migraine on our thumbnails. But something to capture people's attention is absolutely key. Absolutely key. Thank you all for the Super Chats today, by the way. I appreciate you. Um, hold on one sec. I'm going to flip a switch on my internet just to make sure that we are good to go. Cool. Uh, awesome. So big lessons there for sure. And if I were to go to socialblade.com, I don't know if you've ever been to socialblade.com, but socialblade.com is a really cool YouTube and uh, Twitch and also Instagram analytics platform. If I were to type in Graham Stephan, for example, we're going to check out the growth of his channel. So Graham Stephan, yes, there he is. And you can see just how many video views he has per day. 100,000, 300,000, 300,000. But over time, look at this. Since September of last year, which is when he really started to focus in on this, look at the growth of his channel. Boom, 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 boom. So much stuff. And then ever since the quarantine, quarantine happened uh, with all the great videos he's had about that and the stock market and the bailouts and all that stuff, um, he's just he's just going massive, which is pretty crazy. Uh, let's see how my channel's doing, by the way. Um, Pat Flynn, Pat Flynn, Pat Flynn. That's not me. I mean, that is me, but that's not the channel. Smart passive income. Yeah, here it is. Starting about eleven to fifteen thousand views a day, but definitely seen a growth since. I started going live daily, which is pretty cool. And also um, a lot more people are watching YouTube videos nowadays. So socialblade.com, a great site to learn about all these things. <laughs> Bernard says, imagine Pat only returning turning after 40 minutes. That would've been really funny. Not really funny at all, in fact. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Uh, and again, sorry for What's up, you guys? a little off tangent there, but for the channel that re we reviewed there. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and gave you some understanding of some of the important things. That's where I think you could focus and double down on is your, your titles and thumbnails. And of course the hook in the intro of your videos for sure. All right, let's go back to YouTube. And we're gonna go to, Graham is definitely a world renowned copywriter for sure. Ray, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate you. Ray Edwards in the house. If y'all haven't checked out Ray Edwards, definitely please do. Uh, Ray is an amazing copywriter and somebody who's a great friend of mine. He's in a mastermind group with me. Definitely check out his stuff. He's got really great authentic videos to help you grow your business. So definitely check that out for sure. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to another YouTube channel that we indeed, actually I'm gonna look for uh, this. Yo, Super Chat from BNS Goku. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you. So now we're going to go to a YouTube channel that we've reviewed before. And this is Paximus Enterprises. We visited his website once before. And remember, if you don't remember, it was a 
crazy looking website with some really cool graphics, a lot of movement. In fact, it was a little too overwhelming and hopefully you've reviewed and updated that Paxmas. But we're gonna review your YouTube channel once again as if we are seeing this for the first time. And I'm gonna go here to Paxmas Enterprises and see what my first impressions are. I had way too much coffee. Uh <clears throat> <laughs> I love it. I love these little, like, I, just first of all, quick note on that. Those little tiny half a second side notes go a very long way because they're short enough to keep people watching even though you're saying something completely random, right? They add a lot of personality as well. To me, they're, they're the equivalent of like at the beginning of my podcast episode, sharing a fun little fact about me that is sort of just an interesting fact or something a little bit more about my personality that you can connect with, which is pretty cool. So let's keep playing this video. I wanna pay attention to the hook. Now this video, you've popped in here as a featured video, right? For somebody who is likely coming back to your channel. You can also have another video for people who are coming to your channel for the first time. Another strategy is to just put your most popular video there, something that's featured so that people can get an understanding of what it is that you have to offer. A welcome video works really well, but it could also be a popular video related to the stuff that you normally talk about too. So let me press play and we're gonna pay attention to the, uh, we're gonna pay attention to the hook here in this video. My teacher journey, three reasons you should go into teaching. So. That's the hook for me. That's like the, the title. And I'm going to see how long you get into, well, how much can you convince me about that particular thing? They made me get outside of my head. And <laughs> let's Quentin Tarantino this. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining my channel. If this is your first time, thank you so much for being here. I want to give you three good reasons why you should go into teaching. Hey everybody, it's Paxmas here. I'm so glad that you're here on this channel. This so definitely you're playing on your skills and your talents as a graphic designer into your videos, which I think is pretty cool. The Quentin Tarantino thing, it didn't really hit home for me as much as maybe it could have, but that's okay. I think you went into uh, the video and the reason why people are watching. However, you could have expanded on that just a little bit more, right? Like, hey, in this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons you should go into teaching and then that's on the title and likely on the thumbnail already. How can we give per a person just one more additional sentence, for example, about why that's important, right? The hook in the beginning of the video to keep people watching all the way through, if that makes sense. So I think that it's really important that we focus on that because we're putting a lot of hard work and effort and you're putting even more time and effort into the graphics. I like the style though, very unique, very unusual, very easy to connect with. I did notice, however, there was a moment when you went to a side angle camera view. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining my channel. If this is your first time, thank you so much for- This right here. This is not usually something that works really well, unless you provide different kinds of context within that shot. Just having a side angle shot in a second camera can add a little bit of just pattern interrupts in your videos, however, when it's this, when your head is the same size in that video, it, it 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 often will detract because now it's like, oh, I'm not actually gonna look at you anymore. You're gonna be forced to look at my side now for no reason. However, I would zoom out on that camera angle, Paxmas, and what I would do is show the behind the scenes of your studio, right? Where you do what you do, right? So for example, if you were to go from this angle here to boom, side angle, now you're seeing like my setup, Right now it provides context of where I'm doing what I'm doing. And that's interesting, that's super interesting. And would provide context of like, hey, this is your something that you're a pro at. This is where you do what you do. This isn't just like a random video that you created on the street. This is something that is your passion. And I think it provides context and almost like a behind the scenes, right? In a very small moment within that video. So zoom out, but you can have a second camera angle. And no, you don't have to look at the camera, although you could too, like how I just did there. Right, I'm looking at the camera here, provide something different, and then I'm looking back here, and then I'm looking back here again, and just make sure that you're always looking in the right spot, especially if you're live, because sometimes I've done this where I'm looking at the camera that I think is on. I don't have like a little red dot, and I go, oh, hey, what's up? So anyway, that's just a really small, but I think very important thing. The second camera angle works really, really well, but it can be wasted if you don't use it correctly. So, so uh, well done on that. Um, Yo, we got the Destiny show in the house. Happy Father's Day to you too. Uh, happy Sunday, fam. Thank you so much for what you do. Been following the news about some of the 
crazy things happening in the space of Destiny right now. It's just been, I got sucked into that last night, and I'm not going to get into it here for obvious reasons, Destiny, but um, way to create a community that has the ability for people to speak up and share and and, and be safe. I, th I just want to commend you on that. Agreed, Pathlane. The side angle view does not add much variety or interest when it's showing the same thing as the main camera. Agreed. Cool. Love that stream deck. Mission control. Absolutely. Glad you're all learning a lot here. I appreciate that. I like that, says Paximus. Cool. Let's keep going here. And uh, so, again, side angle view. Uh, I would add a lot more. I know you have more videos than this, right? I know you have more videos than this. Well, a few more videos. But you could have... way too much coffee. You can have the playlists show up, just like on Grams, right? So a playlist, not just of uploads, but maybe... The playlists of the ones that are the, the, the same thumbnail. Maybe there's a specific reason. For, so, so episode the, the episodes that you have, right? And then teacher humor can be a specific playlist. Plus, when you create a playlist, the playlist itself can become something that's searchable, right? So let's say, for example, I go to how to start a podcast. And then I go to filter. Hey, look, number, number two there. Play the, the playlist becomes... Now, I have two playlists in podcasting. In fact, I think I have more. There's another one, How to Start a Podcast. Uh, the playlist becomes something that's findable within there, too, which is pretty cool. I had way... Uh, let's go... Let's watch another one of these videos, right? Teacher humor. I'm interested. Meanwhile, tidbits with Paximus. Why was that like a Mr. Bean? Tidbits with Maximus. Um, that was pretty cool. I'm gonna watch this whole thing. What's up, Enrique? So I noticed they were all Superman books. Thank you for calling the Batcave. How can I help you? This has been another episode of Meanwhile Tidbits with Paximus. All right. Uh, that's pretty funny. I don't know why it's here with the purposes other than just a little bit of comedy, which is okay. I think it's a minute. I think that's fine. Um, not quite getting the humor in that particular video other than you're reading all this Superman stuff and then welcome to the Batcave. Anyway, I think it's super fun. You know, just keep keep doing that. Keep keep putting your personality out there. Some people, they're just not going to resonate with it. Other people, hey, it just becomes a part of you, and I think that's totally fine. Um, keep doing it. I'm not saying don't do it. But with comedy, comedy's hard. Comedy's hard. What I love about this is, is you're going to hone in on what your audience really resonates with and what's funny and what's not. I found out that, hey, dad jokes are a thing that my audience really likes, right? But a lot of people don't like dad jokes, but it's just who I am in nature to be corny like that, right? So anyway, uh, Superman books, but back hate, LOL. Anyway, all good. Uh, and I appreciate you. Ho hopefully this is helpful on your videos, but the thumbnails, like the big images, I like the big titles. Let me go back one more time. I had way too much coffee. Yeah, just keep putting your personality out there, man. Like, I that's going to be huge for you. Uh, let's look at the artwork. Championing the 21st Century Educator. That's the only thing that I think could be, you know, I, I like that as a tagline, but... A little bit more clarity and just directness on who it is that you're helping and what for right it seems like you're helping teachers and it seems like you want to help teachers uh by providing entertainment and, 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 and information at the same time right which i think is cool so hopefully that helps geared toward my middle school students and it's lame humor ah okay that's not what i suspected because it says championing to the 21st educator which is the educate t student, right? So just a little bit of clarity in the messaging would go a very long way too. Now, what I want to do is I want to review my buddy, Ray Edwards, Ray Edwards' channel. 
I don't know if he asked for this or not, but I'm going to review it anyway. So, Ray, you're in the house, right? What I love about Ray, and I think it's a perfect name for him because whenever he talks, it's just like a ray of sunshine. Absolutely. That's, that's your dad joke for the day. Uh, but it's so true. Okay, so quick. Dude, you look so pro up there. Some sort of copy, a one-liner about what it is you do and why for people who just find you. Remember, YouTube is very much algorithm-based in terms of views. In most cases, most of your views are from people who are not subscribed yet, who probably just found you because of what it is that you're doing here. In fact, I could probably uh, show you this. If I go to my creator studio, my YouTube studio. Oh, it's called YouTube studio now instead of creator studio. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to go to my latest video. This is the Joe Rogan video. I'm going to go to analytics. And we're going to go to reach. Not reach. Uh, was it audience? Subscribe, not subscribed. Well, most of my... Let me go to one of my other videos because that one actually proved me wrong. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? Th this video here. So this was a popular video that came out with and you'll see that if I go to audience, 92% of these people were not subscribed to my channel, right? So these are people, in, in many cases, this is what happens. Your videos get featured in the browse and people start uh, seeing it who don't know who you are, right? So it's really important that we figure out how to get people to understand exactly what it is that we can teach them right off the bat, right? I have just now started to get serious about this. Cool, Ray, so this is, this is perfect. So you also have the opportunity to create like one of those welcome videos, right? Like you saw on the last channel, a featured video. If you were to go to user and then I go to smart passive income, you'll see that I don't have a quote unquote welcome video. Well, this is my channel, so I think it's gonna be a little bit different, but there should be a video here that is a featured video and it could be a welcome video that can also express what you have to offer here and what you're all about or you could put your most popular video up there which also does a good job especially the ones that help you get the most subscriptions right whatever video this is what i'd recommend so that you don't have to do any extra work find the video that gives you the most subscriptions and just pop that up there as your welcome video right so i'm going to look to see what that video is most popular well, maybe not these videos, but other videos. Like, so these videos look like they were done years ago before your style and you started getting serious about YouTube. But perhaps one of these videos, how to get more clients fast or this 10 steps to multi-million writing business, this would be a great one for sure. One of these videos likely could be great to be one of these featured videos on the home front. That way you can find out what is giving you the most subscriptions. In fact, I think there's a way to figure out, in fact, which one's giving you the most subscriptions. If I were to go to, let's see, dashboard, analytics, advanced mode, and I'm gonna go to subscript, uh, let's see, um, hmm, filter by subscription. No. Hmm, there's a way to do this. I know there's a way to do this, but you can see over time, like which videos have given you the most subscriptions. Subscription status, no, not that videos, traffic source. There is a way to do this. Impressions, more metrics. Let's see, interactions, subscribers gain, there you go. And now you can go to, I think, the video. More metrics, YouTube subscribers gained. And now I can go here. So this tells you which videos give you the most subscribers, right? So this is, the, this is where you can start because you know that if people come to your homepage and they watch that video, they're gonna be more likely to subscribe. So that, that took a while to get to, so I apologize. But that was in the advanced area and I had to go to more metrics, subscribers gained to get that, right? So sorry, Ray, I, kept, I keep getting out of alignment here, but I thought that was important for everybody to, to, to find. Okay, Ray, where are you? There you go. Okay, so a little bit of copy up top to express more about what Ray Edwards is about, who you are, what you can do for me, copywriting, scaling your business, etc. right? I know this about you. 
Now, check out this video. 1,000 views in one month. The ones prior to that, not as many views. This video, you did something right. And look at that, it's even longer too, which is really interesting. So multiple streams make money, or how copywriters make money. That's what I know you have, is information for copywriters. And of course, what do they ultimately want? They wanna make money, right? You have the nice large images of your face. I think that's great. That's what people are attracted to. I like this beanie of you, by the way, although you look a little blurry there and not as bright as these. So continue with this sort of theme with your uh, with your thumbnails. I like that you have a lot of the, see, this is what I'm talking about, having the different playlists there. I love that. So let's watch this video. I wanna, I wanna see what the hook is like and just got get a sense of how you're hooking me in, right? Hi, I thought I would find you here. A little bit of personality, I like that. <laughs> That's so cheesy. Today's episode is about how do copywriters make money? And particularly, how do we make money in a challenging economy? What if I told- Boom, that was so good. So a little bit of personality, just like Maximus with the coffee being too hot, the little Qu Quentin Tar Tarantino thing, right? Hey Aaron, happy Father's Day to you as well. So a little bit of personality, not too long. That was like three or four seconds. Oftentimes that can come to be a little bit too long for some people. I think that was, that was fine. And it gets people to, to know that this isn't just like one of those sleazy videos from just some random internet marketer. You have a little bit of personality, which is good. But you went right into not just how copywriters make money, but you added a little bit more to the time that we are in right now. Let's play that one more time because that was key. And what did you do? You had some text floating on the screen too. Today's episode is about how do copywriters make money? And particularly, how do we make money in a challenging economy? What if I told you- So very smooth now, all of you pay attention. What happened between that hook and the next portion? Watch watch the zoom on the screen. How do we make money in a challenging economy? What if I told you- See how it zoomed in just a little bit? That little bit goes a very long way. So be paying attention to that a little bit more, Ray, and definitely continue to use that. Again, this is a video that's performing really well for you, previous to other videos, and do more of what is working. That is working for sure. There are nine income streams you can set up so that you have multiple income streams as a copywriter so that no matter what's happening in the world, what's happening with the economy. I was about to say, I'd love to see some B-roll here and Ray, you brought it in. It could probably come in a little bit sooner since this is the beginning of the video. This is something I love to do on these videos. Have the beginning of the video, probably in the first minute, have be the most B-roll heavy portion of the video. So it finally came in, which is good. I think it could come in a little bit sooner next time. But uh, Chris, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Uh, Ray Edwards somehow looks like a U.S. actor but forgot his name, says Elton. That's cool. <laughs> uh, but B-roll came in perfectly. You've diversified your income streams enough so that you... And you're, you're such a brilliant copywriter, right? The so that, right? You've always added that in and you just said it right there. Have money. And money is awesome. You were taught that... <laughs> money is the root of all evil or the love of money is the root of all evil i have a question what does that actually mean i, I think it's about i'm just going to give you the answer so we can get past that i think the answer is don't worship money and i don't i don't worship money money right. is not my god let me play that again i was not on you've the diversified your income streams enough so that you have money and money is awesome you were taught that money is the root of all evil or the love of money is the root of all evil i have a question what does that actually mean? I think it's about, I'm just gonna give you the answer so we can get past that. I think the answer is don't worship money. And I don't, I don't worship money. Money is not my God. But I think another root of evil is the lack of money. What if the lack of money was the root of all kinds of evil? I think it is. I don't think that contradicts the scripture. See, you've earned the right to go a little bit off the script a little bit. Because remember, people are here to make money, but you started talking and now you're getting into psychology, which is relevant but it's not why people are here. And you've earned the right to do that because you've had a really good hook in the beginning. I hope that you continue to do that, Ray. I know it's gonna take a little bit more time for you to do that, but I think you did a really good job with that. Um, let's watch another video of yours, Ray, to just kind of break that down, maybe one of your latest videos that maybe didn't perform so well. Um, let's see. Now I noticed that recently, you can tell when you started getting serious about this, right? Like right here, four months ago, Although I see about a video per month. Might there be a way to have there be two videos per month because you are definitely starting to gain some momentum here. However, and if I were to type into, uh, let's see, Ray Edwards into YouTube on Social Blade here. 
Let's see, you're, you're gaining momentum. Look at this, even in the last week or two, look at this, Ray. You've probably seen a big spike in the number of subscribers and video views that you've had recently. So this is the time to start leaning into it if that is something that you do have the time for, obviously. Um, or you can start uh, you know, leaning on your editing team a little bit more to focus on that. But you've had a lot of ups and downs here, and I think that only recently are you starting to see some really massive gain, uh, momentum coming. And I definitely think that you can uh, take advantage of that for sure, right? When the wave is here, that's when you wanna take advantage of it, right? Yes, we're stepping up to one per week. Excellent, I think, I think now is the right time to do that. Um, this video here three months ago did not perform as well as these other ones around it. I'm gonna watch this really quick and, and see if I can uh, see what's happening. Ray Edwards on copywriting, overwhelm pressure, overwhelm pressure, persecution. I can already tell you why this isn't performing so well. Number one, the title and thumbnail are not compelling, right? I don't know if you saw the Graham Stephan portion of this particular video, Ray, but uh, you need to do more of that, right? You don't have to be super, super like exaggerated or look like, you know, you, you have a migraine in your, your thumbnails, but um, the title and the thumbnail means so much. And already you can tell like these ones are performing much better than this one right here, right? So let me, let me click, click, click play on this because number one, if the title and thumbnail aren't good, you're not gonna get as many impressions. And if you don't get as many impressions, you're not gonna get as many views, right? This will be the last thing. Ooh, just got a happy Father's Day from my buddy. Okay. So after using the Canon EOS R for a lot of vlogging, I discovered it's really freaking heavy. I don't know how I ever would have managed with an 1DX. I don't think I ever would have. So I've switched back to the EOS M50 for my vlogging. It's good enough. It's 1080p. It's got the great Canon colors. It's got the great autofocus. It's light. It's like one third the weight of the ESR. See how meta we can go with this. Okay. Here of the um, or the, the the tour of the office. I like this. Did not like the intro, Ray. Just got to be honest. It was not had nothing to do with any of the stuff that I came here to watch the video for. Now, if this is more like a vlog, that makes sense because it's more just like a little bit more of your personality and, you know, it's kind of funny and you talk about, you know, things that you've probably talked about in the past. However, I think it's hard, hard to do a vlog. Vlogging is hard and earning the right to talk about whatever it is that you want is very difficult, right? We are not Peter McKinnon. We are not MKBHD. We are not, you know, Joe Rogan who can just literally talk about anything, right? We have to focus definitely more on what by the way there's a switch pot on the screen which i'm really enjoying right now <laughs> thank you sorry a little giddy there uh so this video is totally 100 percent perfect because there's a switch pot on it now so I, I take back everything i just said no i'm just kidding uh so yeah uh living joyful and well says i'm learning a ton for my channel awesome paxman says this was super helpful thank you so much you're welcome uh very good so ray you you know you know the intro and the hook had nothing to do with the title and the thumbnail. The title and the thumbnail were pretty weak in this video. And yes, you had 406 views, probably from people who just are fans of Ray Edwards and who, I'm sorry about that. Let me turn that off now. Uh, who are just wanting to capture everything. However, if you wanna get serious about this, let's let's hone in on what you know works. And, and, and you can drop in moments like this later in your videos as little side notes versus like having it be the hook of your video. So you know you know exactly what to do. You know exactly what to do, great job. All right, I'm gonna go into some other websites and such here. Just give me a moment to pop up the next one. I totally closed the screen that uh, had all that information on it. But yeah, so, you know, these video uh, channel reviews are, are really great. We've seemed to be uh, honing in on the theme of YouTube channels today, which is totally cool and, and totally okay. So let's go into another YouTube channel here that I just found, and I'm gonna open up a new window. And we're gonna go here. Grand Sing Music.
cool. So you're playing piano. You are a pianist and a composer, which I think is great. Uh, and essentially, I'm curious. I know you're here in this room, but what is the purpose of your channel? I'm not asking because I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter what it is to, to, to me. What matters is, do you know the purpose of this channel? Is this a place for you to uh, gain a following so that, you know, you can... Um, like what was it, what is it that you want? I'm curious because we can then better align the words, videos to whatever, whatever, whatever that is. Perhaps it's just a place to play and a place to, to share, uh, and, and things like that. Right. Versus, you know, is this a place for you to then teach other people how to do music? Right. And if it, is, if it is in fact a place for you to help other people, then we need to make that known and upfront. Right. So I think that's really important. Pathlane, could you remind me what the sound panel you're using? That is the Rodecaster Pro. Bruh. That's what we're using right now. Uh, cool. You are not alone. That's why we're here. Thank you. Thank you all so much for the support. I appreciate that. Jamin says, love this. I love love the music, by the way. I think that one thing that you can do, if, it in, if, if this is indeed just like covers that you're doing, I think that perhaps we could try to level up the production if you wanted to. Right, so as you were playing here, like in the first 18 seconds, there could have been moments where there's a top-down camera view or another camera view of you sort of playing, and it just adds a little bit of again pattern interrupts in your stuff. Right, so let's let's see if this is just the same all the way through. It is indeed the same all the way through, which is which is fine. And again, maybe if I go to the about area, it would tell me a little bit more. Okay, let's definitely improve the about page area in YouTube because people are going to come here. They're going to love your music and they're going to come here and go, I don't know what this is about, right? Is this stuff where you write your own stuff? Is this stuff where you are teaching other people's stuff? I, I'm not necessarily sure that that's where I don't know. And on YouTube, you have to be so specific and very clear about what it is that you're doing here and what you hope to achieve or at least make it known, right? So piano tutorials here, right? Like I'm, I'm looking at the description here. Let's see if this pops up a video. Okay, now these tutorials can sometimes get millions of views, right? So I like that you're doing this because these are very popular. There's there's so many of them, but I would continue to com continue to publish them. And I'm curious to know what the thumbnails look like because all the thumbnails look the same for these things. We need to find a way to make them stand out a little bit differently. So, okay, by the way, you're doing your sectioning of your homepage here really, really well. You have popular uploads, which I think is a very smart thing to have. Piano covers, scroll down. You have beat making, which is cool. Look at these, that like lo-fi beat with Artura Mini Lab MK2. This has significantly more views than anything else that I've seen here so far. 4,000 views compared to hundreds of views on these other ones. Scroll down, piano tutorials. So let's, let's, let's go to this one and let's see. This likely is hitting the note on a keyword Right, if I were to look up uh, Arturia Mini Lab MK2, let's see what let's see if you even pop up. Yeah, they're so. I mean, these things are so popular, and even if you don't get found on the the beginning of of the search results, like you could still get a lot of people seeing your video because of related playlists and such. One thing I will say is that you can add a little bit more, like what's another layer that you could add on top of this to engage with the audience? Because right now it just very, it very much feels like we're just watching over your shoulder, which is great. Having the ability to see over somebody's shoulder as you create something is amazing. But might there be a way for you to somehow directly connect with the audience during this time? Now I'm not saying you have to do this, but I've seen other channels, um, where, gosh, uh, can't can't handle the truth uh, beat. Here we go. So this is somebody who's doing another one of these over the shoulder tutorials, right? Over the shoulder tutorials. So 
Again, let me go back. I'm sorry about the screen there. This is what we were watching. It's sick, by the way. That's absolutely sick. I love that. So that's cool. But what was missing was the connection to you. Either some sort of thing in the beginning that if you wanted to say hello, that'd be cool. That's what's missing here, the connection to you, the reason to subscribe to you, right? You got some really cool stuff. Likely you're seeing not as many subscribers as you should be because there's no connection there. Now consider that versus how this person engages doing something very similar. Yuri Wong, watch this. You want answers. You want answers. Sorry, not that one. Yuri. Uh, Me? I know who I am. I'm a dude playing the I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Big reveal, I'm a pickle. What do you think about that? I turned myself into a pickle! I'm Pickle Rick! Turn, turn myself into a pickle. Turn, turn, turn my, 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 myself, self, self. Boom! I'm a pickle. Rick, 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 Rick. So you see that it's like, let's do drums, let's do this. Initializing that, sequencing the drums, a little bit of, again, connection. And the fact that it's this chat bubble is really interesting. So if I fast forward a little bit. So he's making beats. Turn myself, turn, turn myself into a pickle more Morty. Turn myself into a pickle. Now you don't have to do that exa that same exact style. I can imagine Me? In your videos, for example. I know who I am. You want it? That one. Maybe just maybe, like again, if you're not in, in the sort of uh, comedic style like that person, maybe it's more of just downloading kind of what's going through your head during this time. Maybe a little. Uh, do do y'all remember uh, VH1's video pop up? Do you remember? Do you, do you remember video pop up? Right? It was that what it was called? VH1 video pop up. So what I'm saying is, there could be moments here. You even have room down here inside of your video to just be like, I was looking for a beat that was a little bit slower to go to this melody, and then. 20 seconds later, maybe there's a way I can find out how to increase the treble here, right? And then, you know, just as you're going along, what was going through your head? That's actually more of a tutorial versus just kind of watching over your shoulder, right? So Pat is today more on channels of other people than the ones that he is reviewing. Cool. Well, sometimes when we want to learn we look to others who have done something different, who have done something uh, that has gained momentum so we can learn from them. I mean, that's exactly how I learned for sure. So yeah, maybe there's some pop-up videos sort of uh, areas that you could, you could, you could add on to the, that uh, sort of stuff. I don't know why this is in the search. Okay, anyway, what I was saying is these piano tutorials, I think that we can benefit like this, this screen, this thumbnail here is really great with the headphones. I know that you either took this photo or, or grab this photo from stock image or something, but this thumbnail here is a lot more attractive than this one here, which is just a generic piano. Yes, there's a little bit of blue, but the text could be a little bit bigger or there could be something on the screen that captures my attention. Cause remember if I were to look up like my moon, tutorial my moon my red moon piano tutorial i don't know if this is the same song or not right but eh, maybe not uh what if there what's a popular piano song the entertainer piano tutorial so check out these thumbnails right they're all the same Except this one, look at this one stands out. 
which Vinatario, I've reviewed him before on the channel before. He's awesome. So how can you, with these videos, like this one stands out because the text and the, the, the coloring, it's so big and it's very, it's very clear, right? This HD piano one. Uh, these two look very similar because they have the same image of, uh, of uh, Scott Joplin. And look at, look at this one. This one even says like 100% speed, best piano tutorial. This one here has like fire. It looks like fire. And that just looks like the piano's on fire, which is kind of crazy. So we're gonna have to try to figure out how to make these types of thumbnails here. Sorry, I keep going back and forth. These types of thumbnails here stand out and be a little bit more eye-catching as people when they search for these things or they find them in their feed or they find them in their browse, how they are I'm getting static when I speak. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it might be just slight internet problems when you hear static, I hear it slightly. Yeah, sorry, uh, if it is indeed on my end. But uh, Grant Singh, hopefully this is helpful. You got some amazing talent, my friend. Keep it up, and I just want to help you display it better and have more people find you. Congrats on 1,000 subs, by the way. 1,000 subs is a big milestone in a YouTuber's life because that's when you can begin to monetize. That's when you actually have that 1K on your subscription so that you can have uh, you know some more social proof there, which is, which is really great. So, cool. All right, let's review one more, and let's... See what happens. All right. Let's go to... All right, let's see if this pops up anything. My internet just got really slow for some reason. Hmm. Okay. So this is... Robin Lee's website. And here it is here. The right space. Welcome to the right space. Give We give solopreneurs the most valuable gift in the world, time. We take care of all your social media needs, giving you freedom to focus on taking your business to the next level. Get a free discovery call. Okay, not bad. I'm curious to know why this isn't centered or should there be an image on the right-hand side that... Um, we're not seeing here, but anyway, thanks chat for letting me know that things look pretty or sound pretty fine for me, uh, which is which is great. So on the right hand side, there's a lot of empty space, so I'm not necessarily sure why that is. And I'm also noticing that there's some weird spacing here, like this font is indeed different than this the, than the one below it. What? Uh, and I'm curious to know why that is. It's a little bit distracting on the eye. Plus, you have this font up here, this font here. There's like four or five different fonts on the same. Like it really is. Like there's one font here a second font here, third, fourth, fifth, sixth with the button. So trying to manage this a little bit more uh, should be a focus for sure in terms of just like making sure, and in fact, the fact that this is white, like do you see how that stood out even a little bit more? I, I just highlighted this to make it white, but it, but it actually made it a little bit better because the two pink ones with the different fonts uh, was, was distracting to me. Now this even looks a little bit better. Welcome to the right space. So we give solopreneurs, so that's how we know who it's for, the most valuable gift in the world, time, right? I think that these two could be switched, right? Because this is really what you offer. We take care of all your social media needs, giving you the freedom to focus on taking your business to the next level, right? I don't know if we give, uh, we take care of all your social media. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Just, I don't know why it's not centered. And then get a free discovery call. This is the, um, I realize it could be a combination of different things. You have omnidirectional mic, right? That could play an issue, connectivity issues with the internet while streaming. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, anyway, get a free discovery call. This is the most important thing. If you're the owner of the account, you can log in. Okay, so this is not good. I wanted to just, I wanted to click it just like you did a good job letting me know what this is about. I want to get a free discovery call. I click and then I get a dead end. And Robin Lee, that's not good. If you're the owner of this account, I can log in. The calendar URL is not valid. If you do not have that yet, 
let's not put it up there, right? Even if, even if it's ultimately where you want people to go, let's have it be something else, a different call to action for now to subscribe to your email list, for example, or something like that, right? Let's scroll down. Can you relate? I like these can you relate because they make me go, yeah, okay, that's me. And it gets me deeper into your website. But I'm losing a little bit of who this is from, right? I don't know, like, Rob and Robin, your uh, Calendly URL is not there as well. So maybe you're just in the very beginning stages of this. And I would imagine if I click work with me, it would take me to a place where, okay, this is great. But again, schedule a time, not available yet. So you're, maybe you're literally just in the middle of this. I like the theme. I like the, the colors. The colors are really great. But what I'm missing is with a, with a discovery call, think about it. It's a call. And right now, I don't know who I'm speaking with. I see the messages that you're saying. They all sound great to me. But who are you? Who am I going to be speaking to at the other end? Am I just going to be pushed to somebody on a sales team? Or am I going to be talking to you, Robin? I should see your face on here. And to get to, low, get to know you a little bit. If I go to the about section, maybe, and hopefully there is a little bit about you. Welcome to the Right Space of Social Media Management Studio in Cape Town, South Africa, that serves solopreneurs and business coaches across the globe. Here at the Right Space, we do more than craft social media content. We give entrepreneurs a sacred gift of time. Whether you are starting from scratch or looking, okay, meet the, oh, there you are. Hey, Robin. Cool. So this is, I had to scroll down and I had to work for it to find out who I was speaking to. Right. And I'm not necessarily like that was a great image. However, I don't know if it very much signifies the person that you want to be seen here related to entrepreneurs on uh, entrepreneurship. Right. So we need to really, really help people understand that, hey, you're going to be talking to Robin and have a friendly image that relates to this. Maybe it is you sitting at your desk, for example, which would relate more to the entrepreneurial factor versus like a sort of lay down picture by the pool. And, um, you know, it doesn't really match the rest of the website here, which again, looks very professional. The colors are a little bit hard to read, but this is why I think it's okay here at the very top of the page in the, in the hero area. And then I scroll down and then it's the white on black, which is more uh, usual and, and easier to see. Um, not really sure what the make a wish image is here. I like the colors again, and these matches are pretty cool. But again, this is one of those things that like, is this even necessary? If this image were to be gone, would it remove anything from the messaging and the support for this website? In in most cases, these kinds of images are just kind of extra and just add a little bit of confusion, right? So I think maybe there's a, there should be a picture up here in the upper right-hand corner of maybe you. you just be like, hi, or something like that. Uh, and then also testimonials, right? I want to know before I call you if this is legit. For me, this is what we all understand. People default to doubt. People default to doubt. So how can we remove that doubt? Get a friendly face behind there. Have people understand that other people have gone through this with you. These testimonials are going to be key to help you. So that's all I'm going to talk about today. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for the show today. Happy Father's Day to all of you. And we're going to get back into more website and YouTube channel reviews next week. Ray, thank you for showing up and being here. I'm a fan of yours, friend, obviously. And I am here to serve you. And hopefully, and, I, and I'm very thankful you came in because that was a lot of good lessons learned for everybody else watching in too. And um, yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have to leave for a meal. Martin, congrats on a half million downloads of your stuff, of your of your, uh, of your your podcast. Um, I'm going to go spend some time with the family now. I think I heard them get up, and I'm going to enjoy the day. I hope you enjoy the day, too. Coming tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, you'll get a sense of what the theme is for this week, Monday through Thursday. We have a theme, and you'll find out tomorrow. So make sure to come in. 8 a.m. Pacific, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern here, patflynn.com slash the income stream. Thanks so much. Hook me up with a thumbs up before you go. Peace out. Take care. Have a great day and all the best. This is the income stream to help you achieve your dream. All while we keep it clean, this is the income stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave inspired with no fee required. The income stream with Pat Flynn. Again, happy Father's Day, everybody. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay well. I'll see you tomorrow. Again, pop in if you can. 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Right here. This is the link you need to memorize. Petflin.com slash the income stream. I'll see you then. Peace out, everybody. Love y'all. Bye. Bruh.